Betty, I have told you never to sneak up on me like that. Sorry, Pop. I might cut my sideburns crooked and ruin my button-down Ivy League image. <laughs> Pop! There's something I want to ask you. Betty, if I cut my head off with this razor, I'm sending you straight to your room. <laughs> Gee, Pop, all I want to ask you is if you'd give me a picture of yourself. Picture of myself? What for? Well, I don't want to embarrass you, Pop, but you are the handsomest father around. <laughs> go on, go on. Go on, go on. And you're the neatest father a kid could have. Go on. What are you stopping for? You're doing fine. <laughs> well, I just wanted a picture of you so I could send it in to the Father of the Year contest. Me? Father of the year? Me? Father of the year? Oh. Oh, no, Eddie. <laughs> oh, I hardly think so, son. Okay, Pop, if you don't want me Eddie, to enter you. Come back here this instant, son. <laughs> uh, you'll find a photograph of your father in the top drawer. <laughs> It's really not fair to the other fathers. Once the contest officials see my photograph, I win hands down. <laughs> oh, Aunt Lily, I don't know what to do with this. A few shots of penicillin should clear that up in no time. <laughs> This lump of clay is Marilyn's new project for art class. She has to sculpt something out of it. Oh, maybe I could do a bust of a classical Greek. Like Apollo or Achilles or... Seymour. Who's Seymour? Who's Seymour? Seymour Akalatsis. He was a famous Greek taxidermist back in Transylvania. He used to stuff all the guy's mother-in-laws for free room and board. No, no, I need someone a little more interesting. Hi. Hi. Hello, dear. <laughs> oh, what's this pile of junk doing here? Herman, this is Marilyn's art project. Oh, Ma Marilyn's art Oh, Oh, say, listen, that shows lots of talent. Lots of style there. Very good. Herman, <laughs> Marilyn hasn't even started yet. Oh. Well, it's for my art class, and I'm trying to think of a good subject. Like what? Well, Marilyn thought maybe something like a Greek god, uh, a masculine face with finely chiseled features, a head that will show the, the beauty and strength of perfect manhood. Well, a Greek god, a, a, a masculine face, <laughs> the beauty and strength of perfect manhood. <laughs> well, Marilyn, dear, he's standing right here in this room. Thank you. But I'm too nervous to pose. No, 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 me, 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 Herman Munster, father of the year candidate and Greek god. <laughs> I hate to throw my modesty to the winds, but let's face facts. Herman, I've never been so seasick before on dry land. <laughs> You know, if Michelangelo had used me for a model, there's no telling how far he could have gone. <laughs> Herman, would you mind closing your mouth while we're trying to turn you into a work of art? Hey, Pop! Guess what? I just mailed your picture to the Father of the Year contest. Oh. And guess what the winner gets? Lay the goodies on me, Clyde. First, there's a trip to Hawaii. Oh, boy. I better start packing my baggies and wax down my surfboard. I'll do it for you, Pop. Thank you. And in addition, the winner gets four new suits, a whole new wardrobe, and a lifetime supply of frozen enchiladas. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> Won't it be fun to have a father of the year in our very own family? <laughs> Herman will never make it. What do you mean, Herman will never make it? Well, in the first place, Herman has a colossal conceit. I do not. You do so? I do not. 
Well, I have a plain, ordinary conceit. <laughs> and you're just being jealous, 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 jealous. Just because you're not up for Father of the Year, you're acting like a big baby. <laughs> oh, Grandpa, now stop this bickering or I'll send you up to your slab. Well, there's one thing for sure. That bust of Uncle Herman is going to get me an A in art class. <laughs> I'll call it confetti. Such a nutty business here. Oh, hello, Professor von Fagenspahn. I brought in my sculpturing project a little early. Aren't you a beauty, sweetie student? Oh, I wish everybody was like you. Here, hold this. Oh, all right. Well, let's take a little peek here and see what we got here. For goodness sakes, what is it? Oh, well, it's my sculpture, Professor. What's... Such imagination. Why, you have drawn from the very depths of your creativity to fashion this. <laughs> you have captured man in his very essence, right down to the bottom. Get a load of that schnoz there. <laughs> well, I really owe a lot to the model. Oh, this is primitive man in all of his rawness. This is beautiful savagery. This is the day, the day, the day, the day. But model? What? Model? What, what, what? Oh, well, my Uncle Herman, he modeled for me and I just sculpted. Dear, wait a minute. Hold here the horses, darling. You, you, you mean to say that there is someone like this alive around here someplace? Oh, yes. Well, he lives at home with us and he's just 151 years old. <laughs> Wait a minute, darling. <laughs> Please, more, say? Oh, I said he's my uncle and he's 151 years old. That's what I thought you said. Excuse me a minute, darling. I'll take this now. Thank you. 